All right, welcome everyone. This is October the 1st. It's Google season of Docs office hours. Uh, let's take a look at our, our notes. Uh, excuse uh, uh, Kristen today, she's out of the office on vacation. So we've got a topic for the, the draft Google Doc, pull request ready for review, incremental delivery of segments into a larger structure and transfer of org admin. Should all those remain on the agenda? Anything we need to add? Uh, for org admin remain, it's uh, still an open item. I know Great. it is on Oleg's to-do list. Okay. All right, then let's go ahead and start from the top. Zina, how about on installing Jenkins? You want to tell us how it's going and let's let's discuss that. Okay, so um, for installing Jenkins, I worked on two different um, options. That's using Helm. Um, the first part just actually explains, gives a brief introduction of Kubernetes. After that, I gave two options. That's using Helm and just using um, some YAML files. That's deployment file and the service file for those that might not want to use Helm. So those are the two options I currently have right now on installing Jenkins on Kubernetes. And Hi. then Mike suggested adding um, a bit of explanation about on cluster role binding and cluster role. I did that. So I'm not sure if anyone has had the chance to review yet. I did look that over and I think that is perfect. We can mark that as completed. So that's this one right here. Okay, great. Excellent. Well done. Anything else, you know? Um, no, for now I'm working on the Jenkins um, operator. Um, So the Helm section is complete. And now is that included yes. in the pull request? Yes, it Excellent. is. And you're working on Kubernetes operator? Yes. Marky, help me with that. What's the official, is it Jenkins operator for Kubernetes? Jenkins Kubernetes operator. Jenkins Kubernetes operator, thanks. Then also, I wanted to ask for the Jenkins Kubernetes operator, would it be better to have it under the managing Jenkins session or under a new Jenkins on Kubernetes section? On Can you remind me how you're doing the Helm section? Is that a separate section or is that under manage? Um, the Helm section is under installing Jenkins. Uh, isn't Jenkins Kubernetes operator also an installation op option or have I, I misunderstood? Is, that's why I was asking. And, that, and the reason is, is I think if you, if, if I recall correctly from the code, it is installing Jenkins. And if that is the case, then it should go under installing Jenkins. That's just my opinion. Okay. okay. Which, which even, even puts even more emphasis then on your, your concern, Zinab, about G is the is the installing Jenkins page going to be just too huge? And yes, we'll have to. Yes. It seems like we'll have to re rework it so that it presents subsections. But I'm still of the opinion we don't want you to do that because there are lots of us who could do that and let you keep working on specifics. Okay. Now, are there are there in your experience with Jenkins Kubernetes operator? Are there things that are done with it during runtime, where it's it's also an administrative tool, or is it mostly an installation tool? Was that question for me? Uh, either of you, I guess. I don't want to interrupt Zinup. So Zinup, do you want to answer it? If not, I can. No, I think Maki, I would like you to help in answering that. Yeah. So the Jenkins operator does two things. Number one is it, it will do your installation. Number two, it will do administration of various things. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. And now 
is that different than Helm? Can I use Helm to administer as well, or? No. You okay, so would, you, Helm is a different way of doing things. Uh, uh, the Jenkins operator is another way of doing things. It just has more to it. Okay, got it. All right, thank you. Hang on just a minute. I need to go close my door. I fear the sound is going to bother. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for the clarity. Excuse my getting a, a Kubernetes education while while we're doing this. No, that's okay. Totally okay. All right. So we'll both the installing um installation of Jenkins and, and administration parts that's on Jenkins Kubernetes operator. Will the both of them be on the same page? That's the installing Jenkins page. That's a good question. I think for clarity in the use of the operator, they should just remain on the same page. Or if there's a possibility to break out that page into, uh, you know, maybe, you know, installing Jenkins, and then you have the uh, the, the the operator is a, uh, you know, that's an entry, but maybe we break it off what becomes now another sub entry about the administrat administration part. But I think that, you know, it's just an, it's an option. Or if okay. you put it somewhere else, you could, you know, have, have some type of, uh, in the ASCII doc linking to the other area where it talks about operator administration. That's another option as well. Okay. Yeah, my, so yeah, my preference would be limit the administration. So I think of install as in, as the first administrative operation, but then future administrative operations, they go elsewhere to answer them. But would that work? If you said, hey, I'm going to do the install portion of Jenkins Kubernetes operator in installing and all the admin functions I'll put elsewhere, or is that going to make your writing very difficult enough? No, it's not going to make it difficult. So I think um, after the installation section, I could just do probably like a brief introduction and put a link to where the administration is properly explained. Okay. So and, and that, all the information is not on the installing Jenkins page. And, and yeah, that, I think that's a good uh, idea. Yes. Uh, uh, plus one from Mark and Mark. Great. I, I like that very much. That way we, we know that the installing page is going to be huge and we'll split it. The, and, or it will be split, not, not by you, but it will be split. The, still the admin material there, I assume that the Jenkins Kubernetes operator has lots of admin things that are unrelated to installation and more about configuration or modifying setup. That is correct. Okay. All right. See now back to you. Um. I think that's all for me. Or did you ask a question? No, no. Just are there more things you wanted to discuss with us on installing Jenkins on Kubernetes for the install portion? Um, no, no. So the next topic was pull request ready for review. Congratulations. So the PR is there. And uh, I'll do my best to review it. It may be a day or more before I get all the way to it, but I will do my best to have it done before, for sure, before our Monday meeting. Okay. I'll have it reviewed by, my review will be in by today. Great. Thank you. So I've, I've basically moved um, all the content from the Google Doc to the pull request. So you don't have to review 
go to the Google Doc and the pull request. You can just review everything in pull request. Agreed. Thanks very much. Anything else on the pull request? No. Okay, we had another topic, incremental delivery of segments into a larger structure. Yes, um, so ab about the structure, um, you know, I suggested um, a pull request um, where we add sections and put work in progress, but I didn't want to merge everything in a single pull request. That was why I didn't add that to this pull request. So I'll do a diff different um, pull request just for the structure alone. So this is not too clumsy or confusing. Great, okay, and that, that sounds good to me. Uh, that separate pull request because we can get different conversations going, already get the benefit of the install material, merging and being visible mm -hmm. to users while you're still working through, hey, here are the other things to do on this on this structural pull request. I like that. Yeah. Mark, is that okay for you? Perfectly fine. All right, so then the goal is, I assume as soon as you get that submitted, we wanna get a review of that and then discuss, discuss at the next meeting? Yes. Very good. Okay. Anything else on the structure pull request? No. Mark, you want to take that last topic, transfer of org admin? Yeah, we are still uh, waiting uh, not only for the transfer uh, of the org admin, but also to be added on as a mentor. And that's not by any fault. I know that uh, Oleg has is, is got a lot going on. So I will ping him, ping him about it before the week is out. Great. Yeah, and and the it, that is add Marky as a mentor and as an org admin. Correct. Excellent. Anything else that we need to? Any other topics that have come to mind or that we need to discuss? Uh, there is no topic, but I would like to say, uh, Zinop, you're doing an amazing job. Thank you so much. And, and I, I echo that. Zinop, I'm delighted. Thank you for your contribution. Thank you very much. Uh, if you haven't registered for Hacktoberfest, by all means, you should. This is certainly a contribution to open source. And so congratulations. Yeah. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. And thank you for being amazing mentors also. <laughs> thank you, Mikey. Thank you, Mark, for the You're help making so it too far. Easy. Thank you so too much. Easy. <laughs> it, it, it is. It's delightful. Thanks a bunch. I think that covered all of our topics for today. Is there anything else we need to discuss before we close our session? Nothing no, from nothing me. Nothing else from me. All right. Thank you. So good luck reviewing poll requests. We'll talk to you, talk to you in the next meeting. Awesome. Have a okay. good day.